Hi there, boys and girls. How are you today? We are in the month of November. Can you imagine that? Oh my goodness, we're going to be coming up on holidays. Of course, we just finished on Halloween. And so, did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you get a lot of candy? Yeah. We had trunk or treat up here at the, uh, New Bloomfield. And I had my mural, which had mountains on it and stars with the Christmas tree lights and stuff. It was a lot of fun and, and stuff. Uh, a little bit of rain that day, but we got through it, didn't we? Yep, we did. And uh, I have to be careful eating the candy. I love, I love a Snickers bar. Oh, they are good. They are good. And, and they beat most everything else, but I, I have to go light on them. Did you get some? Yeah, they're good. They're good. All right, well, we're, we're back at Printerville. Do you remember uh, Wesley, Charles Wesley? Mockingbird is the minister. One of these days I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. Uh, he's on the front page here, or not the front page, but early page uh, of our story. And uh, I, can't, I can't get it to open here. There it is. And, and it's a story because he didn't start out in Critterville. He started out on the western, uh, the eastern shore of uh, Virginia. Chesapeake Bay, remember? All right, well, we'll talk about him. But I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm talking about Tommy Turtle. Tommy Turtle uh, was, uh, he, he had friends that were rabbits. He loved the rabbit family. He'd go to visit the rabbit family. And uh, one day, he was over visiting the rabbit family. Now, you may remember a week ago, I talked about how the squirrels, uh, their trunk had been struck with lightning. Well, sometimes the lightning storms hit some other places, and it happened to hit in their burrow. Now, they didn't live up in the tree, but they lived in a burrow underneath a tree, and the lightning struck it, and it caught on fire, and it was burning. And Mama Rabbit said to Tommy Turtle, you've got to go to the fire department and, and tell them, so we need some help here with this fire. And so Tommy Turtle got up, and he started to run. Now, let me tell you, Tommy Turtle just thought well, being a rabbit was the best thing in all the world. He thought, boy, if I could be a rabbit, I could run really fast. Well, you know, turtles don't really run very fast. They're kind of slow because they've got to carry their house with them wherever they go. And that shell uh, slows them down a lot. So when Mrs. Rabbit said to Tommy Turtle, you got to go to the fire department and get help, Tommy Turtle said, I'm going to run there because that's what Rabbits do. And he started to run. And Mrs. Rabbit said, Oh, Tommy, don't run. You'll be forever getting there. Turtles are good swimmers. Swim across the creek and don't have to go down to the bridge and run across the bridge. You can cross right here and you'll get there. And Tommy Turtle thought, Rabbits run, but I'm a turtle. I'll never get there running. And so he jumped in the water. And boy, did he go across that water, because their shell, just like that, it's streamlined, and they could swim right across that, that, that creek. And he got out, and he went over, and he got to the fire company. And, and the firemen came, and they put out the fire so that they didn't lose their house. Now, that's, that's a, a story that, that turtles are good swimmers, and rabbits are good runners. And God has made us to be different than one another. Some of us can do some things and some of us can do other things better. Maybe you play an instrument. You, know, you may be playing a, I know one of our, our young, young people in church plays a trumpet. And uh, she practices and plays on the trumpet. She also can play the piano. Now I played a trumpet at one time. I tried to play the piano and I never made it. Um, so maybe some things I can do like other people can, but some things I can't do like other people can. Um, I have another person that, that can play a violin. I think that's a beautiful instrument. They have a small violin, smaller than a big one, that they practice on. So there are different things that we can do. Some people can run. Oh my goodness, I never was a fast runner. Uh, I got there and now I'm slower than ever. Matter of fact, my run looks like a slow walk uh, today, but, but I still get there. But I can drive a car, and uh, I haven't ridden a horse in a long time either. 
Um, but uh, if sometimes I wanted to get someplace fast, I could, I could jump on the horse and get there a lot faster because a horse can run faster than I can run. Um, but now, sometimes when I'm doing stuff, I use a tractor. And that can haul a bigger load than I could haul by myself. So there are different things that we can do. Some of us may be good at math. I was never awful good at math. I was more awful than good at math. I, I could come up, I could add two and two, and I could get five without a problem. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, I was good at math in some ways. It was two and two, yep, yep, five, that's what the answer is. Uh, and so, what do you mean it's not the answer? It's two. I, the answer's right there, five. You're saying it's four? Two and two equals four? Huh. Two and two. Five, four, three, two, one. No, that didn't work, did it? No. One, two, three, four. How about that? You were right. It is that. Well, you may be good at math. You may be good at some other things. I'm good looking. How about that? Isn't that? You don't agree with that one either, huh? Okay, thanks a lot for being my friend. Well, anyway, God has made us all different. And Paul talks about that in the Bible. He talks about some people have a gift of, of cooking, a hospitality, and, and they can fix food. Uh, some people in our church take food to some people that have been sick and, and they just don't feel like fixing or can't fix their meals. Some people take people uh, to different places because they, they don't have a vehicle to take themselves there. So they take them there and they have that ability and that gift. Other people sing. I, I love to hear people sing. People do not love to hear me sing. Uh, you know, but I love to hear people sing. Uh, and, and sometimes a song uh, will get to me and uh, tears will come down my face as I think about that song and maybe because it reminds me of another person that I knew in my life. Uh, so we have different gifts. So you have some gift and, and your gift may be nothing like anybody else's. And you may think it's not that important. One person that I read about whose name was Valentine and he's known as Saint Valentine couldn't do much of anything but he wrote little notes to people. Notes of encouragement. Uh, to uh, help them on their way. And I suppose there were some days it was pretty sad and they'd get that note and they'd think, boy, Val Valentine is a nice guy. He encourages me. So think of the notes. You could write to somebody, maybe a friend, maybe a grandparent, or think of the things you might be able to do. Um, it's a bad time of the year to go out and pick some wildflowers, uh, but uh, there's different things. You might be able to make a craft for somebody and make them feel better. Just like Tommy Turtle, not a good runner, but a great swimmer. Find out what you can do. Now, there's a song that I couldn't think of the last couple of times we got together, but it came to my mind, and I love this song. Uh, it's called All God's Critters, remember? These critters live in Critterville. And this song goes like this. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands for moss or anything they got now. That's all. Now, you see that song talks about having claws like a bird might have or claws like a, a cat might have or paws. And sometimes we talk of a cat having paws with the claws and sometimes we think of a dog having paws but he has toenails. We don't think of them having claws. Um, you know, some can sit on a telephone wire. I can't sit on a telephone wire and I don't know of any dogs that can sit on a telephone wire. Although I've seen tightrope walkers that had dogs that could walk across that tightrope. Now most dogs couldn't do that. But dogs can bark. I never saw a cat that could bark. You know, they can meow. And they can scowl and howl, but they can't bark. So, different gifts we have. So, let's sing that song one more time and then we'll pray. All God's creators got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. And some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. That's all. All right? How about that? We'll sing that again next week, all right? Father, thank you for this day you've given to us. Thank you for the gifts that you've given to us, the talents that are ours. Help us to use them to encourage others, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next week.